intro. So today I'm going to be doing my hair routine for you guys, my straight hair routine. And this is a very highly requested video every year on mine and Kelsey's channel. So I decided to go ahead and do mine first and just show you guys all the products that I use, all the techniques that I still use that I've been doing for years now. You guys always ask for an updated routine even though nothing really changes that much. But I'm still going to show you guys anyway just because I know you guys really wanted to see it and I'm not going to ramble too much in this intro because this could be a long one. Okay, we're gonna just start with shampoo and conditioner, the basics. I change up my shampoos and conditioners quite often just because I don't want my hair to get used to one product. And when I use something too long, it stops working anyway. So it's good to switch it up sometimes, but the ones that I've been loving the most, that I use the most, are these from Matrix, the Biolodge line. And they are the Advanced Fiber Strong Shampoo and Conditioner for fragile hair. And I'm obsessed with these. They smell bomb. They're, they smell amazing. But I love these for the simple fact that I need to retain length. And you guys know Kelsey cut my hair last year. She cut about an inch and a half off, almost two inches. So the main goal for me is to retain length when my hair grew back. Fiber Strong is the way to go for me right now. And this has no parabens. And these are the big bottles, which I desperately need because my hair is super thick, especially for conditioner. I go through conditioner a lot faster, but I still like to have the big shampoo as well. And you can get these at Ulta. I always get these at Ulta um, online or in store, but they always have a sale every single year at Ulta on their like liter bottles of shampoos and conditioners. So all their salon brand shampoos and conditioners and the big bottles. They always have a sale. I don't know if it's 15% off or 20% off. I don't remember, but I know that these bottles are originally around like 30 bucks, 25, 30 maybe. And I got them for $14.99. So each, not together, each. So that's a really good deal for the big bottles. And I usually just start out at the sink. I always wash my hair at the sink, whether I'm wearing my hair curly or straight. I'm just not a shower hair washer just because, I don't know, I just prefer the sink. And hair product gets on my back and it makes me break out. So that's another thing. So the sink is just better for me. In the clip that you guys are seeing, my hair is curly. Because I had my hair curly two days ago. So if you guys are wondering why my hair is curly in this clip where I'm washing my hair, that's why. I wanted to give it a break for a couple of days. But I always start out at the sink. I shampoo first, obviously. And I always shampoo the roots only. I don't go in and shampoo like the bottom of my hair because I don't want to dry it out because obviously shampoo is meant to clean your hair. So I always want to do the scalp only. I focus on the scalp and the rest of the hair gets clean once you're rinsing out the shampoo. And I also prefer to shampoo my hair twice because I always have this thought in my mind that it's logical to lather, rinse, repeat when it comes to your hair. And it makes sense to me because the first wash for me is just to get rid of the product that I have in my hair, any kind of buildup from like dry shampoo, hair oil, shine sprays, hairspray, whatever I use in my hair. The first wash is a good cleansing, getting rid of all that product and buildup. And the second wash is just to actually cleanse the scalp and clean the scalp. So the first wash is to get rid of product and buildup and the second wash is to actually clean and cleanse the scalp and the hair. So I find that that works for me. I've been doing it for years. I don't even remember the last time I shampooed my hair once. Especially like if you're going to wear it like straight. If you want like that fresh like salon silky finish, which I assume everybody should. You want to shampoo it twice just to make sure you get all the dirt and oil out of your hair. Just because you don't want it to be oily when you have fresh hair. It's supposed to look and feel fresh, you know. And like I said, as I'm rinsing the shampoo out, I can feel the shampoo going through the rest of my hair so it's just enough to get the rest of the hair clean. Just not as much shampoo that went on the scalp if that makes sense. And for conditioner I do the opposite of what I do for shampoo. So for conditioner I start at the bottom of my hair and kind of work it from the bottom to the mid shaft and I like smooth it over everything else like the excess conditioner just to get like the whole head a good condition but not too much like near the roots. I don't really like to put conditioner near my roots. I still want to get it like around the perimeter of my hair and just make sure everything gets nice and conditioned and I like to finger wreck that through just to get a good detangling started. This step is important for me because the conditioner of the matching shampoo that I'm using is like a prep for deep conditioning for me. It just makes it a lot more manageable and easier when I 
go to deep condition my hair the conditioner it just feels like so smooth and buttery in my hair i'm obsessed with this conditioner of course i love the shampoo it's like a pearl kind of finish so it's not like a clear shampoo it's like a pearl creamy look to it which is nice because it doesn't dry my hair out but it still cleans it but i like to condition once i don't condition twice i just put just a good amount for my hair i finger wreck that through my hair and just let that sit for about three to five minutes maybe and then i'll go and rinse that out so after i'm done with my shampoo and conditioner i moved on to deep conditioning this deep conditioner is from amica the brand amica and this is their nourishing mask and it's an intense conditioning and repair mask i love this mask it's sold out on sephora last time i checked so i have about this much left some hair in there smells so bomb it's a really thick conditioner so a little bit goes a long way if you have less hair if you have a little bit more hair than me of course you're going to need a little bit more product but you're still not going to need like a whole bunch like i've used this at least four five times maybe that's a lot for me for deep conditioner just because i have thick hair so i just cannot skip this step in my hair routine like this is crucial to have a bomb salon finished result at the end like i have to have a deep conditioning step in my hair routine if i don't i just might as well not do my hair at all just because it won't feel the same and a deep conditioner is something that's kind of like medicine for your hair in my opinion i feel like it makes the difference like internally like with the integrity of the hair i feel like long term you're going to see a difference but you also see a difference instantly so you have instant results with the deep conditioner or a good one if you're using a good one that's what it's supposed to do so this one i got from sephora i would use this on my curls as well i will probably try this on my natural hair but i'm obsessed with it for like my straight hair it's amazing i would definitely put it in like my top five hair mask is that good it just does a really good job at hydrating the hair and strengthening the hair at the same time i love a hair mask that gives it my hair a balance so i don't want something that's too too moisturizing just so that it will make my hair too greasy when i wear my hair straight i don't really care when my hair is curly i like a balance for when my hair is straight just because it can have two good things but not too much of one thing if that makes sense and my hair has less like fallout like when i go to detangle as much of my hair doesn't come out when i apply this so i like to apply this in two sections i don't really go as hard during my deep conditioning routine for when i'm wearing my hair straight as i do when i wear it curly when i wear it curly i like slather my hair in deep conditioner like from the root to the tip like i put it everywhere but when i'm going to wear my hair straight I always just divide it into two sections not my typical four sections when I deep condition but I just apply it on each side of my hair like finger raking it through starting at the bottom of course and I just clip one side up and then do the exact same thing on the other side and I just kind of like smooth it in my hair starting at the bottom like I said and just finger raking it through making sure that it's mostly at the ends of my hair because that's the weakest part of the hair and once i'm done putting enough in each side of my hair i just put it up in a bun and put on a plastic cap this is the one that i have right now i got it from target this is the deep conditioning shower cap i think that's the name of it this is meant for deep conditioning but i still prefer the clear ones they just didn't have any more at target so it's like the clear pack they come in like a uh, pink and blue like more sheer shower caps if you guys buy these shower caps at target then you know what i'm talking about if you don't you like kendra i don't know but this one is okay it kind of makes the perimeter of my hairline like feel kind of itchy i don't know why like i don't know it serves its purpose so i put that on i leave it in my hair for about 40 minutes 35 40 minutes sometimes an hour depending on what i'm doing if i have to do something else around the house so it's just a good time to do other things if you need to get something else done after i've rinsed that out that's when i like to move on to detangling my hair and this is the part where people are just like struggling especially if you have curly hair and especially if you have a lot of hair that gets tangled easily so what i recommend are two very important tools a white tooth comb of course and a wet brush this is my newfound love i'm obsessed with this wet brush um they have like a regular size that's a round kind of look to it this is the one for i think you said for thick long hair or something so this is like the big one so i really love the wet brush it's meant to use on wet hair 
Although I don't use it on wet hair, I use it on damp hair. Just because I just don't like my hair like dripping, soaking wet uh, when I go to detangle because that means it's going to take even longer to blow dry. Uh, so I like to start with the wide tooth comb first. And before I even comb my hair, of course, I like to apply a leave-in conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner that I use is from Purology and this is their 21 Essential Benefits multitasking hair beautifier for perfecting color treated hair i do color my hair black but it's not really color treated like i don't have highlights or anything so if you have like blonde or any kind of color treated hair if you color your hair then this will be good for you as well i'm obsessed with this i think i've been using this for like three years now four i don't know i've been using this for some years now so i love this i have the big one when i first tried it i got the smaller one but this is the 13.5 fluid ounce. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It makes my hair feel super soft. I just spray it in on each side of my hair evenly, of course, uh, from the bottom to the top. And it doesn't make my hair greasy, which is one of the main reasons why I love it. It's a really good detangler and it does 21 things on it. But the main things that I see that stand out to me just says protects against color fade. So if you're trying to preserve your color, this is good for that. It just says excellent leave-in conditioner, instantly detangles, protects against heat damage, smooths out hair surface, controls frizz, reduces dryness, all that good stuff that a leave-in conditioner should be doing. So yeah, it just does what a good leave-in conditioner should do. It has 21 benefits, so it should be doing everything your hair needs. So after I'm done spraying that in, that's when I'll go in with my white tooth comb and I'll start at the bottom of my hair working my way up and I take my time you definitely don't want to be in a rush when you're doing this so make sure you have a hair day when you do your hair just to set time aside for your hair to come out the best that it can so you want to take your time when it's tangling I like to start at the bottom work my way up do the exact same thing on the other side my hair is still divided into two sections at this point I like to do this first just because the brush for me is a good like blow dry tool I'll elaborate rate more when I get to this but yeah I go ahead and finish detangling with this and after I'm done detangling with the white tooth comb I go in with this Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Anti-Breakage Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. So this is a very lightweight kind of creamy kind of watery product. It's not really a cream to me. It, it has like a cream like color but it's a very sheer lightweight treatment. Like it says like a treat a leave-in treatment for your hair that's amazing for breakage. So if you have a problem with breakage and your hair is very weak and fragile and brittle, I highly recommend using this. My hair is not fragile and brittle. I just use this for preventative purposes and I stopped using it last year and I saw a difference when I did not use this stuff. So I added it back into my routine and I'm never, never taking this out because it's bomb. Redken has been a like one of our favorite brands for years. Kelsey and I have been using this brand like for a long time since we started doing our own hair like nine, ten years ago. This also has a very lightweight smell. It has kind of like a, a light sweet smell. Um, really nice smell but the actual product does a really good job at maintaining my length. This is also a good product to retain length as well so that's why I also like to add this step only at the bottom of my of my hair so I like to smooth it in you know in like the praying hands motion this is very lightweight I'm sure this will last a while because you don't really need a lot but if you add a lot you can't really tell like it doesn't make your hair greasy so I use about three to four pumps on each side which is not a lot for my hair because it's so light Okay, so after I'm done doing that, this is when I like to let my hair air dry a little bit longer before I go in to blow dry just because I don't like for my hair to be soaking wet or like really wet when I blow dry. I like to go in on damp hair because it dries faster, one. And two, I don't apply as much heat to my hair. So it's just less heat and it's just better for the health of my hair. So I like to wait about an hour before I go in to blow dry my hair just because it's just better. And it makes my job a lot easier because I hate blow drying my hair. It's my least favorite step in my hair routine. It's just a pain. Like I'm just going to say it. it's not the easiest step. It just takes too long. It's hot. I just I don't like it. And I tried to completely air dry my hair and go straight into flat ironing, like skipping the blow dryer, and my hair just comes out greasy. So I still have to blow dry my hair to get it to come out the best. But yeah, after I waited like an hour or so to let my hair air dry, that's when I go into blow dry. And I have my hair sectioned into four sections. So two in the front, two in the back. And that's when I go in with the wet brush. 
Again, I don't use this wet brush on wet hair. I use it on damp hair. So at this point, even though I've let my hair dry about an hour or so, it's still not dry, of course. So I always like to start in the back sections just because it makes sense logically in my head. So I start in the back and before I start on each section, I always spray this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray in my hair. This is an advanced dry thermal protectant. This stuff is bomb. Like if you have a hard time blow drying your hair and it takes forever, you need this. This product makes it go by so much faster. So it reduces blow dry time up to 50% and provides intense heat protection from damage and breakage. It really does that. Like my hair without this takes a lot longer to dry. And when I use this, I don't know, it's just like magic in a bottle. It just dries so much faster. So I usually spray this in each section. Like I don't go all over and spray it because it's more effective on the section that you're working on at that moment. So I spray it on that one section and then that's when I'll start blow drying that particular section. So I always start at the nape of my hair, so at the bottom. And that's when I'll go in with this. Go in with the wet brush to make sure it's nice and smoothed out before I go in with my blow dryer. And this is the blow dryer that I use. This is the Numi blow dryer. It just says Numi on it. I think it's just their black signature one. This comes in other colors, but of course, I love black. I've had this for years. Like, I think I've had it for about four or five years now. And I love this blow dryer. It does a really good job at drying my hair. And I always put it on the highest setting. So like I'll put it on the highest speed and I'll put it on the hottest setting just because it goes by a lot faster. And if I do it on the medium setting, I'm just there blow drying my hair a lot longer. So it's still a lot of heat no matter which way you put it, you know. And I just kind of go in a vertical motion. So with this brush, I like to go like in a vertical motion and I go down. So you want to blow dry down just because you want it to come out the smoothest before you flat iron. So this is like a good prep to get a smoother flat iron. If your blow dry ain't right, your flat iron ain't going to be right. It's just what I've experienced over the years. And the blow dry is just as essential as the flat iron. And it cuts down the flat iron time as well. So you don't have to apply the flat iron as many times. So I blow dry my hair in a vertical motion and of course I just repeat the same step. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. You guys will see what I'm doing. And I kind of separate that one section into about four or five subsections, maybe six, depending on how much hair is in that section. It's usually about six sections in the back and about four or five in the front. So I just repeat the same thing over and over throughout my entire head until it's completely dry. And my blow drying usually takes about 30, 40 minutes, 35 minutes. I'll say 35. Um, it used to take a lot longer, but I've been doing this for a while. So I know how to do it a lot faster now. It's going to take some time to like shorten your hair routine, but it goes by faster the longer you've been doing it. Okay, so after I'm done blow drying my hair, that's when I move on to flat ironing. Again, after I'm done blow drying, I like to wait about like 10, 15 minutes between that time just to let my hair cool down. And so I don't go in with direct heat after I just put in heat. So I like to let my hair kind of like cool off before I go to the next step. So before I go into flat iron my hair, I always apply a heat protectant. This is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. It's a UV and heat protection spray. It says it's a conditioning detangling spray as well. So this is also a leave-in conditioner. It can be your leave-in conditioner. I have the matching shampoo and conditioner for this. But I really, really love this. This is a really good heat protectant. I also like the one from Tresemme. That's a really good drugstore one that I've been using for years. I just wanted to use this one this time. I like to alternate so I switch back and forth. So I spray this in. I let that dry and like brush, brush it through my hair evenly. And that's when I go in to section my hair again. Sectioning your hair is crucial for this to go by smoother and easier. Blow drying and flat ironing. So I can't not section my hair when I do my hair. It's just, it doesn't make sense not to. So I always have my hair kind of half up, half down. So I will separate the front from the back. So I'll kind of section it from ear to ear and like leave the front separate from the back. And I'll just put the top in like a little bun or something just to get it out of the way because I'm not going to be working on that part yet. So the flat iron that I use is the Sudu Iconic Ceramic Pro Flat Iron. This is like I forgot the size. It's the wide plated one. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but this flat iron has been here with me through thick and thin, literally like tried and true flat iron. It's 
just amazing. This is the first and only one that I ever bought of this one. I've had it for as long as I can remember. I don't even remember when I bought this. I got it off follica.com. I'm sure you can get Seduce at Ulta. You can get them. I'm sure you get them on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get them multiple places, but that's where I got mine years and years ago. So I love this flat iron. It does a really good job at making my hair have a nice sleek salon feel and it doesn't take forever to do my hair. So your flat iron is also very important. So you need a good flat iron. Make sure it's a good brand and I would read reviews if I were you just to make sure that it's meant for your kind of hair. Because some flat irons I feel like aren't meant for curly hair, like thick naturally curly hair. So some people's results may be like, oh my hair came out amazing, but just like her hair is naturally straight, of course. So she just touching up. Make sure you read reviews where someone has curly hair. So that's also important to me. Um, I always like to section the back of my hair into another section. So I'll divide that even more. Get more hair out of the way so I can focus on one section at a time. So just like when I blow dry, I start at the nape of my hair. So I start in the back and I always work my way up to the front. And I like to go in with this bristle brush. And what I do, I like to call this or it's called the chasing method, I'm sure. I've been doing this forever and it's very effective. So you wanna take a bristle brush, one with like a lot of bristles in it, and this ensures that your hair gets the straightest quicker. So I'm not that person who just like goes in with my fingers and just flat irons like that. I need like something, you know, nice and dense like this to get every strand, cause it catches every strand of hair once you're chasing it down with the flat iron. So this technique is very effective and it's like a lot quicker, like I said. I always just go in with the brush first and I will chase the flat iron with it. So I'll go downward, obviously. And I just do the exact same thing through each section. Um, I'll take about one inch sections, one and a half maybe, because this flat iron is wider. So it flat irons more hair quicker. So that's also why I love this flat iron. It doesn't take me forever. I don't have to go in like teeny tiny sections. And I'll continue doing the chasing method throughout my entire head. And I also like to go over each section depending on how it feels because some sections of my hair feel thicker than others. So the bottom I'll go over that like once, twice maybe. And then the closer I get to the middle of my head. So I'll go through those like maybe four times maybe just to ensure that it's nice and smooth. And you want to make sure you get your roots good because the roots are what I go over multiple times, like more than four times, but not like slow. I kind of do it kind of in a fast motion. So you guys have probably already have seen that I do it like really fast just to get the roots smooth first because your flat iron ain't gonna look right if your roots ain't right. So you wanna get the roots really good first and then that's what I will just make sure that I'm getting the rest of the section as smooth and straight, and straight as possible. And you'll see a little bit of steam from the product. Don't be alarmed, you're not burning your hair off. So when I get to the front, I like to separate it into two sections, just because this is where I'm getting into like the styling portion of my hair routine. Um, because you guys know I have like shorter layers in the front. And I like to um, take my time in the front because sometimes like when I'm working out or if I shower, the front gets frizzy faster. I have no idea why, because it's not the thickest part of my hair, so. Not sure, maybe it's just exposed more to water and moisture and steam from the shower and stuff. I don't know. But I like to start um, by my ear and I will work my way up to the top of my head. So I'll start here and work my way up here. The same thing, chasing method. Go down with the flat iron, you know. This gets pretty repetitive, so turn on some music, some Netflix. That's usually what I do. And it goes about a lot faster when I'm doing one of those two things. And again, make sure you get a really good bristle brush. This one I got in beauty school in my kit like four years ago. This is the British Made Denman. So it's from the Denman brush brand. I also have a Denman brush that I like to use on my curly hair. But this one is their bristle brush. I don't know. I feel like it's called a rabbit brush. That's, that's probably so wrong. So once I'm done flat ironing my entire head, I like to go in with this Chi Silk Infusion. And this stuff is an OG favorite product. I've been using this stuff for years, like before I even had a good flat iron. Like I had a Conair flat iron and this gives you that salon feel. Like this stuff is bomb. This is a silk reconstructing complex. It's basically a serum. And this is paraben free. I don't know if it has always been paraben free, but this one says it is. 
This is a hair serum. I've been using it for a long time. I stopped using it for a couple of years and then I missed it. So I added this back into my hair routine. I don't know why I do that. This, this is effective and it works the same every time. It's just one of those consistent products like this Redken Anti-Snap that just always makes a difference in your hair and the way it feels and the way it looks. So I like to go on with my hair at the end with this. I'll just smooth it in my ends and just a little bit in the front of my hair just to smooth out some flyaways and you know so it's not frizzy and a little bit goes a long way with this stuff this is the 12 ounce you can get this at target i've seen it at Publix before like in the hair section anywhere where they sell chi you'll see the silk infusion because in my opinion this is their most popular product it's just bomb i'm not really a fan of the other products that she has like their shampoo conditioner they used to have a hair mask that i liked but i haven't seen it in years but the silk infusion is where it's at if you have not tried this and you want to try it out they have like a small mini bottle that you can try they also sell it at ulta and it smells like cologne like it smells so so good like it has a clean cologne smell i'm obsessed with the smell of this stuff y'all and every time I smell it, it just brings back memories to when I first started doing my hair. And throughout the week, I'll add a shine spray or something. But if I don't need it, I won't. That's pretty much all the products that I use. Um, like I said, I always have a hair day to set aside time to make sure I have enough time to do all this. And if you guys are wondering how I preserve my hair at night, I always wrap it. If you guys don't know how to wrap your hair, it's pretty simple. Just type in how to wrap your hair. I feel like every black girl should know how to wrap her hair, to be honest. It's pretty simple. It's a lot easier if you have shorter hair, but if you have longer hair, you might need some clips or something. And you can get a wrap cap anywhere, Walmart, Target. I got mine. I usually get mine from Walmart. Um, but yeah, I wrap my hair at night to preserve it. And then when it gets dirty, that's when I'll just do some buns, do some heatless waves, you know, stretch it out to where you don't have to wash it again. Because I've recently been washing my hair every three weeks. I know it sounds kind of gross. But that's where dry shampoo comes in the mix and you'll be good to go if you have a good dry shampoo just you know spray that in your roots and you're good to go uh so every three weeks has been working for me my hair usually stays straight for at least the first two and then by the time i get to the third week that's when i have to start wearing it wavy it depends on what i'm doing yeah it depends on what i'm doing i try to stretch it as long as i can so three weeks has been working for me my hair routine used to be once every two weeks when I wear it straight, but I've been trying to do three weeks just to keep heat out of it and to make sure it stays healthy, you know, so that's been working for me. Hopefully this video was informative enough for you guys. You guys let me know if you have tried any of these products before, if you're going to try any of them. I will have all products and tools linked down below for you guys. So all the products and tools that I mentioned will be linked in the description box. If you guys are interested in prices and all that kind of stuff or if you want to try out any of this stuff okay so that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it my stomach is growling so that means it's time to go because i'm hungry so yeah i will see you guys in the next one